And actually, if you want, uh, any time you go to a different place, that will be the same thing. What I want you to understand is how the, the archaeologists knew about the shape of the building and which god it was dedicated to. <coughs> it is actually very easy, very easy to, to, to understand. We start from the idea that this building was like that one, covered with rocks and trees. The archaeologists <coughs> remove the dirt and the building appears. Once we got this building, they had to make a hole, break a wall to go inside, and it is right there, we see the rope. They are going inside because inside is where we have all the information, all the information about the function, about the guard, about everything, about the building. Why is that? Because inside of this huge platform, there is one more inside. One more inside, see? Two inside of this. There are no doors to go to the inner temples. But that's, that's the reason why I need all your attention. Many people get confused and they say that inside is where the rituals and ceremonies take place, but no, it's not like that. This place goes back 400 BC. Back those days, this was a little community and they had to build their temples and their houses, but they had not the, not, they had not the economy, the power or the labor force to build something this big. So they start building something small, a little temple. And that temple was decorated, carved, you know, all the decoration of the god it was dedicated to. That's the way it starts. The ruler died. There's one more, one more, one more, one more, until the city was, or the community was pretty big, that one of the rulers decided to, see, to build something bigger, better, higher because he considered himself better than the rest of the rulers that passed in this community. So the first building, let me use my hand, the first building was covered, totally covered with a new one, yes? This new ruler built a temple on top, but not on top here, on top of it, covering the entire building. There is no doors between this and this because this guy is better than him. So he canceled the first one, yes? He just didn't rip it down. Yes. More time, more people, one more on top, one more on top. And that is the reason why these temples are big and tall. Not only the temples, even their houses, even all the buildings, because the Mayas built on top of the other, yes? That's why. But <coughs> never, never a door to go inside, and from here, go and worship that one inside. No, it is canceled and we got one more on top. Okay, now, when the archaeologists come, <coughs> this building is destroyed, like that one. So the last layer is the one they find like this. The archaeologists remove all these stones and tree, everything, and this one appears, which is this one. Now they have to break the wall to go inside to see the inner buildings because the inner buildings still preserve their paintings and decorations. Remember that it was covered. So that's why they need to go inside. Okay? That's why they're breaking a wall and going inside. This is what happens here. Right here, the archaeologists went inside and still there a wall with um, Paintings of butterflies and turtles that in the Mayan ideology, the butterfly and the turtle represents Chak Ek, which is the planet Venus. Venus that was the protector of soldiers and merchants. This was dedicated to Venus. That's the reason why the east part looks very different than the west part. Because they worship Venus as a morning star then Venus disappeared, we don't see Venus, and it, it appears as an evening star in the other side. Total of 582 days to do this cycle. The cycle of Venus is appears here, we don't see it, disappears, appears in the other side, disappears, to appear over here, 582 days. 
Okay, that's why. That's why this temple looks different from the a east to the west because two ways to worship the planet Venus. Unfortunately, my friends, the painting the painting is still there, but uh, people start jumping, writing their names, and taking pieces. That's why the archaeologists had to close it, and we don't see the painting anymore. And that's why we cannot climb up the buildings, because if you go up, believe me, the stones had a lot of names and phone numbers on it. Mm -hmm. So graffiti, you know, that's why the archaeologists decided to close it. You can climb up just till the roof, if you want to do some climbing. And uh, go ahead, before we get more people, because after this, well, we're going to the best part.